As part of the quality control process, detailed in an inspection and test plan, hold, witness and review points are nominated. These controlled inspection points are nominated so key personnel can inspect the works at certain construction milestones. Key personnel reviewing the works may include representatives from the client, general contractor, design consultant or expert third parties. The type of review point will determine whether works can or can't proceed past that review point once it's been approved. A hold point means work cannot proceed without the relevant approval. A witness point means the relevant party has to be nominated but works can still proceed. And a review point means works can still proceed but the relevant person will review something after the fact. Standard practice across all construction projects is to complete a pre-pour inspection before pouring concrete. This is done to check the formwork, reinforcement, service penetrations and any rebates are correctly set up. It's easy to fix and rectify these issues before concrete placement, but expensive and difficult to fix once the concrete has been poured. On a project I was working on, as part of our pre-pour inspection, we had a hold point in place prior to our subcontractor pouring concrete. The hold point had to be signed off by three parties. The structural design consultant, who would inspect the reinforcement and formwork to confirm it complied with the design. Our services engineer, to verify all penetrations and conduits were installed correctly, and any subsequent subcontractors, like our fencing contractor, who needed rebates in the concrete for fence posts. This methodical approach and use of hold points in our inspection and test plan ensured issues were picked up before concrete was poured. Almost every pre-pour inspection we did, we identified minor issues that were easy to fix. Using review points in our RTPs ensures expert personnel are engaged at the right times. Additionally, review points may be a contractual requirement and therefore missing them will result in non-conformances.